areas that I'd been through, oh my God, a hundred times, had driven through and had seen, I didn't even recognize it. It was like a foreign landscape, just wiped right out. The Hazeltine Creek, which was a small little creek and um, a productive creek um, with coho and uh, other fish in there. Now it's, how wide is it? It's in some areas like 200 feet wide at the mouth, it's yeah. probably like 400. It just, and all of the devastation, it looked like a, a well, a bomb did go off there, you know, and, and it, it's evident and the tailings are right down to the mouth of the uh, Quenelle Lake and the, the plume from the tailings goes right across uh, Quenelle Lake. It's just, it's, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe what I was seeing and how much devastation there was you know, from from what I knew the place to be before. You can't, if, if you've seen the pictures on the news and you saw the sludge, the toxic sludge coming down and the devastation, it just, nobody, I mean, even in the Fraser River, River, a lot of our, our community members haven't got their fish for the year because they're scared. They were scared to catch any fish. So a lot of their freezers are empty, you know, they, fish that they would that they need to survive the winter.